um, 25th verse. Now, this is David's somewhat of a testimony of David. Like I say, a scripture that's come, they say it. He said, in other words, I have been young. In other words, from the time he was a youth all the way up to an old man, him writing this, this is what he haven't seen in his time. He haven't seen, have not seen the righteous forsake him, nor his seed begging bread. So those who do righteous and do what's right, God's going to look out for us always. How y'all doing? Freddy Causing, checking in. I'm recording this video on the same time, part two the same time. So I'm just going to keep going where I left off. I left off at 20 verse, so we're going to start at the 21st verse. The wicked borrow it and pay it not again, but the righteous show his mercy and give it. So some everybody know. You know, we got somebody you know when somebody do stuff or borrow from you no now as as a christian or just a person in general who believe in bible principles you know when you give we give and don't think about it coming back but uh in this verse they saying the wicked bar this is what the wicked do though and you got people that do things over and over again oh, man i'm gonna pay you back <laughs> You don't never see that person to again when they want some. So that's wickedness. If you know in your heart that you ain't going to be able to pay somebody back and you say you paying somebody that you doing something that's wicked. You wicked. That's wrong. <laughs> if you didn't know you, now you know. It's, it, I mean, and it's some, everybody understand that something happens and you just can't pay nobody back, but it's for that person with the intent of constantly doing something over and over again. I got an excuse. And when they actually figure out in their heart, they can get over this person. They ain't going to get on me. If I do something, a person like that with that mindset need to ask God to change. They need to change from that mentality of trying to get over on somebody, but the righteous show us mercy and give it. In other words, this, this, this is a trait that you uh, have to pray <laughs> that God give you <laughs> dealing with people like that and uh excuse me again nose keep running I'm on the way in here so <laughs> 22nd verse it's a long verse chapter uh, for such as be blessed of him share inherit the earth and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off the steps of a good man are ordered by the lord and he delighted in his way 24 verse though he fall he shall not be utterly cast down for the lord upholding him with his hand i'm just gonna read the rest of the rest of these verses then they spine a little bit on it i have been young and now i'm am Oh, here go a common verse you hear a lot uh, by David. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. He is he is ever merciful and leneth, and his seed is blessed. Depart from evil and do good, and dwell forevermore. For the Lord loveth judgment, and forsaken not his saints, they are preserved forever. But the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talketh of judgment. The law of his God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. The wicked watches the righteous and seeketh to slay him. The Lord will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall 
exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it and have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a great, like a green bay tree. Yet he passed away and lo, he was not. Yea, I sought him, but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man and behold the upright for the end of that man is peace. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together. The end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in the Lord. Hold my fool when <laughs> getting dog in here now. Uh, but I, I'm just going to briefly go over it. Just briefly. I'm going to try to be briefly. <laughs> it is saying the twin fur for the wicked bar and pay him not again, but the righteous show his mercy and give it. So it is. I ain't already said, said it earlier, but that is how people who ain't got really got God in life. That's what they do. And uh, let's keep going. I'm getting dog in here. Uh, getting dog out there. But uh, I'm going to try to hurry up and finish because I can't get up and change my lights right now. <laughs> For such as be blessed, 22nd verse of him shall inherit the earth. So that's a promise. In other words, really, those who serve the Lord, that's that's some that we're going to have. And they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. So this world, the heavens and the earth and the full and the earth belong to God. So it just is plain and simple. If you don't serve God and you do wicked, God's going to cut you off out of his world. 23rd verse, the step of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delighted in his way. So the Lord, those who serve him, you know, Lord loves that. And he's going to bless you for that. And uh, 24 verse, it's saying even though it, if a chance happens, in other words, that you fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. So the Lord's going to look out for you. If you choose to do what's right, like I say, God's going to look out for his, for his saints. Uh, I'm just doing something right quick if I can do it. If they'll let me do it. That may be a little bit better. <laughs> but uh, God's going to look out for his saints. You know, no matter what happens, he's going to look out for his saints. So, uh, uh, 25th verse. Now, this is David's somewhat of a testimony of David. Like I say, a scripture that's come to say it. He said, in other words, I have been young. In other words, from the time he was a youth all the way up to an old man him writing this this is what he haven't seen in his time he haven't seen have not seen the righteous forsake him nor his seed begging bread so those who do righteous and do what's right God's gonna look out for us always even when, like I say sometime in this walk you wonder why well, sometimes what God is at sometimes that did that, that, that's normal. You know, uh sometimes like growing up, you look sometimes for your parents, you look they ain't there at a certain time. Uh but you you looking for them out the window, you know, maybe the time to eat or something. <laughs> just like us with Christians, sometimes we we in need. We looking for God. But uh it all it often happens just like in the natural when you're not thinking about it, when you go ahead and focus on something else, they come. You know, y'all understand that, you know, and they may have some some good food. They may don't want to cook. They may be somewhere getting food. You know, they may bring that McDonald's. You know, some normal that y'all understand. You know, uh, that's how God is. You know, God's going to bring you. He, he knows what you lack. You'll never be at a point where he's not, God is not thinking about you, you know, or, or, Something is happening. Sometimes, like in the natural God, 
go chest ties people who he love. And also, if you, and that's one thing I check when something ain't going right, I check myself. That's that's another thing. You got to check yourself. What am I doing everything right? When you want to think God is late, think about you. And when you ain't did everything else, you know, you keep the faith. You keep trusting the Lord. And that's how it's going to be. When you're not simply thinking about it, that's when he's going to come. So I keep on going. <laughs> Uh, 26 verse he is ever merciful and lenient and his seed is blessed and that is real you got to believe this you know you got to just got to believe it uh, i'm gonna keep going depart from evil and do good and dwell forever more so don't be getting mad when you see all this stuff going around you that you know is wrong don't 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 get mad at it don't let it consume you that's something I'm, I'm doing right now. I'm pretty sure a whole lot of people are doing right now. You see, but don't let it consume you. Don't think that you need to do something. You know, no vengeance belongs to the Lord. He going to repay it. Excuse me again. <laughs> uh, 28 verse, for the Lord loveth judgment and forsaken not his saints. So this this is a personal scripture uh, that David really getting to because he served the Lord. So he knew this. It's uh, for the Lord love is judgment. In other words, God, like I say, like I said before, vengeance belong to God. He said, I will repay. So this is something that God want to do. He want to repay evil because like, uh, cause he's he 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 and gave his mercy so much to people. God want to be in charge of handling that. You ain't got to handle that. God's going to handle that himself. You know, all this evil and stuff, God wants to handle that himself. You know, you do what's right, like I say, that don't mean be pitiful when you see something wrong. You know, you got to speak out on certain things, but uh, God himself going to handle that. And just remember that. Uh, <clears throat> and and forsake his, not his saints. So those of the God, that's, that's consolation for me, and it should be for anybody who named the name of Christ. Uh, they are preserved forever. And but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. God's going to do that. Twenty nine. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. So God's going to be with you. And you read back into Roman. He's going to bless you everywhere. Everywhere you or what you set your hands on, he's going to bless it. And uh, 30 verse, the mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom and his tongue talketh of judgment. So we. Those who are saints, you know, we that's what we we ask the Lord for wisdom and that's what we speak. We talketh of judgment. So we want to talk to the people who don't know this book, you know, who are in those positions because they, they still got a chance, but we got to do our job too as saints to tell people of their error against the Lord because when you do wrong and evil, that's against God. You know, this is God's world. So you practicing that, and Jesus said, and he's saying to you in the um, New Testament and St. John, you know, uh, eight, eight and 44, nine and 44, one of them, uh, you of of your father, the devil, he was talking to those Pharisees, those hypocrites in his day and time, because what they're thinking and what they had in their heart, he told them, you of your devil. And the thing about the devil, see, he got a place, he, <laughs> he's already damned, you know, uh, and those who, follow because evil that's of the devil that's not of god you know doing all these evil things murdering people messing with kids doing old folks wrong and i can just keep going on and on and on and on and on fighting hurting each other like that that's not of god so that's of the devil so, uh, but anyway, they're going to be cut off. God's going to cut people like that off who do such thing. He's going to cut them off. Uh, and like I said, we have to warn people like that. And 31st verse said the law of, of his God is in his heart. So that's where it's in my heart, you know, to serve the Lord, as the songs say, you know, it, I have to, you know, I thank God for him. Not when I was, had my little thing, you know, uh, my little rebellion stage. You know, I've been serving the Lord a long time, and now, like I say, 
God expect if you've been in, with anybody, expect you to do grow a little bit more and do more. Just like in the natural, your parents, you know, at a certain time, you got to take on a little bit more responsibility than just being in, doing one thing for a while. You know, you got to take more responsibility. And us as saints, we got to keep preaching the word and doing what's right because that's that we got to do that. Uh, if God's your father, you can't be uh, lacking days. You got to put that word out, you know. You know, uh, if nobody don't hear it but one person, you still got to do it. You know, uh, uh, let me continue on. Uh, 32nd verse, the wicked watches the righteous and seek it to slay him. So you got people, they don't want to see you succeed. They know you're doing right, but they mad. You know, when they, they simply can't just do what's right, but they mad at you and want to hurt you and figure out ways to get you. So th that just real. I'm pretty sure everybody understand where I'm coming from. You ain't got to go to no church or anything. You understand that. So, but the thing is about me, I know God is on my side. I know, I know he's on my side. So when I'm doing what's right, I know he's going to uphold me. So, uh, so, and 33rd verse, uh, the Lord will not leave him in his hands, nor condemn him when he is judged. So the Lord, it may get to a point that, you know, it, it will seem like sometimes it do seem like sometime the wicked may be winning, but it won't happen. God's going to come in some way, somehow, on time, and he's going to take action against them wicked people. You just got to gotta believe it. I believe it. The Lord will not leave him in his hands, so the Lord ain't going to allow them to enjoy relish and hurting you. And, and like I said, we have to look beyond, you know, one thing, we come in this world, and another, another thing, we know you're going to have a birthday, you're going to have an end day. We got to be looking toward sending our affections on things above. Those saints, you got to set your affection on things above. You know, even though it may seem like the devil winning, but it, it, all those apostles that had to go through a lot, you know, they had a, I think Paul said he had a crying a lot. He knew he had it. You know, all the stuff he went through, of course, he did a lot of things too, you know, uh, but you know it's a crying of life. You know it's right. You know in the end, after this life, you're going to live again. So uh, let, me, let me keep on going, try to finish these up. 31st verse, wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee and exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. So this is what David has seen in his in his time back then. We're gonna see certain of that, but we don't need to rejoice when something bad is happening to somebody. Sometimes God allow that allow you to see things and uh but the thing is to don't relishing that that's what it said that's what they get you don't supposed to be that way in other words and 35th verse i have seen the wicked in great power david saw that he was king and spreading himself like a green bay tree yet he passed away so this was a testimony you know that he he saw in his time and lo he was not so that's one thing. No matter how evil somebody is, it seems like they're getting away, but for sure, they ain't going to live forever. <laughs> and see, after that, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's got a judgment day. You know, everybody's going to be judged. You know, uh, we all must appear before the, the uh, judgment seat of Christ. And everybody's going to have to give an account for things they ain't did in this lifetime. So uh, let me go ahead and finish for all. I ain't going to have no light. <laughs> But uh, uh, and he said, I sought him, but he could not be found because he was gone. God removed him. 37 verse, mark the perfect man uh, and behold the upright. So in other words, mark those who do what's right, who are honest and things, you should mark them. In other words, follow what they're doing and say, and behold the upright. In other words, behold means to look. Look at those who doing what's right, man, because those who do doing what's right, 
There are days they're going to end in peace, you know. 38 verse, but the transgressors shall be destroyed together. The end of the wicked shall be cut off. So he getting, getting all the way there. That, that, that's just the end of those who do evil. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. So this is salvation is of the Lord. You know, uh, salvation is of the righteous. Those who practice, who live for the Lord, you know, he brings salvation. He is the way. Jesus is the way. And that that's of the Lord. The Lord is going to God make sure of that. Those who do what's right, the Lord makes sure that they're going to be safe. And uh, excuse me. One more to go. He is their strength in the time of trouble. So, you know, that's one thing you can depend on the Lord when things ain't going right. You know, he's our strength. That is just the truth. When you don't think you can make it, the Lord, he's the strength. In the time of trouble, when things ain't going right, it's just simple. And everybody can probably can attest to that. You know, ain't nothing but the Lord. You know, when things going wrong, but he always come. Like I say, he he don't come when you want, but he right on time. That is a true saying. And uh, forty verse, last verse, we ain't made it. <laughs> and the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them. Because they trust in him. So that's what David saw. I've seen some of that. Like I say, when you see stuff bad happen to other people or you see the Lord taking care of business, because those who do evil, one day it's going to end. Those who are okay with people doing evil, who don't, who look the other way. You know, sometimes them same people, when they – if they if they're that's their boys or or friends, they'll look away. You know, some of them half of them be hypocrites. That's a hypocrite that does that. But they'll talk about somebody else wrong, but they don't want to check their own wrong. You know what I'm saying? They quiet. You know, you can't be that way with the Lord. God's gonna judge you. You think <laughs> you see some bad happening to them, but yours coming down the pipe too. If you okay with certain people, like in your circle, doing getting away with stuff. It's going to come in your, down your way, too. You know, we can't be one way with early people. You got to be the same way. That's how the Lord wants us to be, the same way all the time. Uh, but anyway, this video going to be in two parts because I'm at almost an hour. Well, not an hour. My bad, 48 minutes. And I don't want to go into an hour, put it that way. So, But anyway, I thank God for y'all time, and I hope y'all got somebody to word. That's what I want. Whenever I read the word of God, it's for myself sometime too. You know, I and I like I say I, I record it so hopefully I may help somebody else, you know. You know, you know, that's what I wanna be able to do, help somebody else. With this word, this word helps me out day to day. And uh like I say, if you give him a chance, you know, if you if you are, continue it. Cause we gotta help each other too, you know what I'm saying? But uh anyway, Freddie calls it. Y'all be safe. And as I say, always stay thankful. And I'll see y'all on this go ride. Peace out.